Hi, my name is Alvin Alexander with devdaily.com and this is our tutorial on inserting text with the VI Editor. To get started, I'd like to show you how to insert text with VI because that's just such a basic command that we use all the time. So we hop into VI and as I've mentioned before, when you come into VI, right away you're in command mode and the first thing you want to do here is switch into insert mode. So I press the letter I as VI is showing you on the bottom line of the screen, we're now in insert mode. And what this means is I can just begin typing. So I can say, hello world, and I can uh, hit enter here and create a new line. This is Al. And I can even navigate around the screen with the cursor keys. And as I've mentioned in an earlier video, when, when you're in insert mode and you want to go back to command mode, all you do is press the escape key. So I'll press the escape key. You see the last line is cleared off, and now I'm back in VI's command mode. And I can get out of the editor by using the quit bang command. And when I do, I'm back at the command line. Next, I'd like to demonstrate several different ways of entering text with VI. And to do that, I'm going to use the Gettysburg Address document as an example. And the first thing I'd like to do is insert text right here explaining what four score means. So I, what I do is I press the letter I to go into insert mode. And then I can just add 80 years. And now what I'll do is I'll hit the escape key to go back into command mode. Next, I'd like to demonstrate the append command. And what I'll do is move over here. And now I want to add some text right after the word fathers. And I do that with the append command by typing the letter A. As you can see, A moved the cursor over one position to the right and put me into insert mode. And now I can just say Adams, Jefferson, and company. So as you saw, the append command moved the cursor over one position, then put me into insert mode. The insert and append commands also have uppercase versions of their commands that let me insert text at the beginning of a line or append text at the end of a line. For instance, if I'm on this current line and I press the capital letter I, you can see that move the cursor over to the first position on the line and also put me into insert mode. I might say July 4th, 1776. I can do the same thing with the append command. For instance, if I move down to this line, and I now want to append text at the end of this line. I don't have to move my cursor all the way to the end of the line. What I can do is from any position on the line, just type the capital letter A. And that takes the cursor, puts it at the end of the line, and puts me into insert mode, where I can again begin typing. Again, that was a capital I to insert at the beginning of the line and a capital A to append at the end of the line. I've started again with a clean document so I can show a new command and this is the open line command. If I want to come down to this line that says a new nation and I want to add a new line just below here. Uh, I've shown you a couple ways I could do that with the insert and append commands but an easier way is just to use the letter O and what that means is open a new line. So as you saw I typed the letter O, it created a new line and positioned the cursor at the beginning of the line and now I can just add text here. And that is the lowercase o command to open a new line. What you can also do is if you want to open a line above your current cursor position, you can use the capital letter O. And as you can see, that opened a new line above the current one, put me into insert mode, and here I can once again add my descriptive text. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on inserting text with the VI editor. For more information on VI, please visit devdaily.com and search for VI Editor.